We're going to be fitting an Anderson A2. It's not going to come for another nine hours. Time slot is definitely going to be 1634. Not very impressed at all. I reckon I could put on another three or four stone before it's even noticed. That's not very good. I think I'm going to go buy that rabbit after work. It calls me the core meister because I have such a strong core. Hello. Actually, that hello was a bit too... Oh, oh. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Artisan Electrics where I'm here with my son, Ruben. And uh, we're out in the countryside today, up in Bedford somewhere. And we're gonna be fitting an Anderson A2. But we think we've just found a cheeky little way of doing it that might save an awful lot of time. One thing which has become a bit of a habit lately with budget couriers is that it's also not arrived the day it was supposed to arrive. It was supposed to arrive yesterday, still not arrived, so we'll be waiting for that. But in the meantime, we have found a really wicked cable route and there is a really nice local pub just down the road. So I think the plan is for today, and obviously orange juice for, for Ruben for now, we're gonna get that cable in and we're gonna go to the pub. And then if it arrives, we might come back and install it, depending on what we're drinking. So um, I hope you enjoy and uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Scooters and bikes and stuff. Right, here's the deal. If you help me get the cable in, Right, all the way, then you can play with the toys. If there is two Nerf guns, then I absolutely challenge you to a duel. Absolutely, yeah. Do you have more surface area? I have got more surface area to hit. But I'm very nimble. I'm very, I'm actually very quick. Here's a, you know, rugby and abuse. So the charge is gonna go here. Okay, and the consume unit, conveniently, is literally there. So we've got options. Either we can drill it out, run it down and clip it round, as these guys have done here, kind of. All oh, those tails are only, only 16 mil, by the looks of it. So we can either drill it round, or I'm thinking, seeing as we've got time, because the charger isn't even here yet, I'm gonna try and be a bit cheekier with the cable route and completely hide it inside the ceiling. I think uh, inside here, You've got the, the ceiling joists running that way, but then you've got the rafters or whatever you call them of the roof running that way. And I've just shun a torch down there and stuck a rod in and I can get it pretty much all the way to the end. It's a bit tricky because of the distance the rod starts to dip, but I'm sure we can even pop a down lighter out and push the rod up. But that is a clear route all the way to the board. I was asking the customer because he said about clipping it internally all the way because it's sort of just a playroom. But I'm thinking what we could do is instead have a little L coming out the side of the consumer unit, just like knock out one of the side knockouts, come out the side, come up, and then he can just extend the boxing slightly if he wants to. And that way there's only sort of 150, 200 mil of cable on show rather than uh, the cable running around the whole way. It's a very typical PG consumer unit in that it's just, it's a little bit rough. <laughs> There is very much becoming a connotation, which is a shame with the BG consume units because they're sort of your screw fix special. You almost expect it now, probably going to get slated for this, but whenever I see it, I, th I often think there's a really high chance that it's going to be poor workmanship inside. Um, and often that's true. And with these, they've got two BG consume units in the house. Both of them that I've taken off have just been pretty horrendous inside. So drilling out the back where it's so crowded, I don't really want to do it. So I'm gonna try and come out the side and up into the ceiling space. Good point, Nathan. This is our new uniform. I love it. It's really nice, isn't it? So we've got hats. We've got um, these Blucklader jackets. These are my old trousers. Just saying, I started the trend, right? <laughs> I've had these for years and years and years and they just last so long. I've got these big cricket sized knee pads in but they're the ones made by Blucklader as well and we got new t-shirts as well which are just a touch darker slightly slightly more slimming on the old um move regions so yeah we got we got a new uniform and it's nice feel very fresh didn't feel a thing still tone i didn't feel a thing Blucklader, shout out what i'm thinking is right Getting the cable out the top is not really going to be very possible. It's just too tight, too tight a space, and I don't think I'd be able to get that angle round. If we was to pop in the side here, there's a knockout just there. We could earth it and things from the other end. Drill through the side there, come into the side of the consumer unit, come out, go up, through the ceiling here somewhere, and then rod back past all these downlighters and into the garage. And then we can come down the wall in the garage, poke out the back, straight into the back of the charger, and Bob's your uncle. I wish Bob, what's his face? Bob Ross was my uncle, I wish. We'll get some rods through, see if we can get this cable in.
is our tool of the day. Basically, you just stick your hoover in there. You've got loads of different sizes for different size hoovers. Turn the hoover on. If you're going to drill a hole, you just sticks to the wall and then you drill through that and it just keeps all the dust, sucks it all up into that little chamber. Absolutely brilliant. Really cool. And you remember to had it after we. Right, so, interesting little fact with the Andersons now is they've got rid of the internal RCD. So I was actually only recently made aware of this. So they used to have type A RCD protection built in inside of them. Now they do not. They've got some sort of digital RCD still, but it's not, it's not quite the same. So it doesn't meet the BS61008 or whatever it was that it's meant to meet. Um, so we have, instead, I've got a type A RCD. This is a type AC currently. So I'm gonna swap that for a type A RCD, 100 amp rather than 63 amp. And be using this 40 amp spare breaker here. Actually, no, I'm gonna go grab a 32 amp because I'm using four mil here now. Yeah, so it's worth noting if you're installing Andersons now, you've got to use an actual RCD, you can't use the one that's built in. That is literally you, that is who you are. I'm the little round yellow one, you're that one. <laughs> Maybe he's right, okay, but I'm just too grumpy to admit it. So. If you're ever wondering how to spell my name, actually, because there's about 20 different ways I've seen how I'm about to show you how it's actually spelled. So you can either spell it double O B E N, okay, that's one way, or the classic Ruben for the W. Those are the only two ways. Um, yeah, we have a cable drum in the back, which has come untied, rolled across and absolutely obliterated our thing and it's just gone, boom, brand new pack, exploded it out everywhere, so it's not very good. Not very um, impressed at the minute with delivery companies. Not very impressed at all. Gone are the days when the only reason why a delivery wouldn't make it on time is because it crashed with Tom Hanks onto a desert island. Nowadays they need no excuse. It's literally, do you know what? I'm sorry, we said we we're gonna deliver it today, but don't feel like delivering it today. We're gonna deliver it tomorrow, evening even, tomorrow evening. I hope that's all right. And even if it's not all right, we're just gonna deliver it then anyways, if you're lucky. In fact, I'm gonna start naming and shaming the companies that let us down. So today's call out was, we probably can't say the company name, let's say uh, dutifully pants deliveries. So we've got our cable in and now we are literally sitting like a little chocolate teapot. Okay, fine, a, a massively oversized chocolate teapot waiting for the delivery to come, which as said, is not going to come for another nine hours. <laughs> yeah. Do we either wait here, which is very embarrassing when you're on a customer's property, thanks a lot, dutifully pants delivery, or there is a high-end fast food outlet 12 minutes away and I'm thinking we could go there have a little snack and tidy up the van although it's not even it's still gonna be high-end fast food chains breakfast so I think if we get the muck heck out of here now it's gonna be too soon I think I'd rather wait until we can get some muck lunch what's good is with these new shirts I can literally eat what I want now because um, there's so much more of a slimming color I, I reckon I could put on a number three three or four stone before it's even noticed so I'm, I'm gonna dutifully deliver that promise. Oh, that's good. I just had a text from our local DPD delivery driver. It says that we can confirm your time slot is definitely going to be 16.34 and your one hour time slot can't be changed. Oh, that's good. For all you jump cut haters out here, we have just jumped and cut to a completely different property. We've basically done everything we can at that property until the car charger arrives. So Jordan was conveniently only working weirdly enough in Bedford as well, which is like miles away from our base, fitting in a Tatmo. So we've just come around and finished off for him, just finished setting it up, did a bit of filling, a bit of making good, socket for him as well whilst we're here. And 
it's still only 20 to 12. So we've still got a long old wait before that charger arrives. So I don't know, I think I'm probably just gonna go get some food. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's just so stupid. All right, door of the Explorer. What do you think we should do? That is the cutest. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> I'm coming back for one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a rabbit. Let's see what I've seen. Oh, that's beautiful. They are jumbo orandas, the orange ones. And they are black moors. Look at their eyes. I'm getting rabbits and fish. Successful lunch break. Right, so we thought, you know what? We're waiting for the charger to arrive. We've got to make the most of our day because every day is precious. So when we were finished bunny rabbit shopping, unfortunately, Nathan didn't let me buy one. We went to TK Maxx and I have to say, we got quite the haul. Got a pretty sweet little thing. Thought it'd be nice for just like hanging out on the beach. Après ski. Haven't got a clue what that means. I think it's Latin or something. Ah, German, it's German. It means um, before you eat or something like that. Yeah, this is, uh, oh, sorry, ski, Polish, Apreski. Probably the guy's name who who, uh, who made the jacket. Yeah, Mr. Apreski. Thank you, Mr. Apreski, for making such a fine garment. But yeah, I got that, bit of a bargain. TK Maxx can be a tough mistress. Either you go in there and it's an absolute steal everywhere you go, or you get nothing. Got some nice Calvin Klein socks. You'll be seeing them featuring on the channel very soon. And a couple of candles for my mum, because you know what? I think she's worth £5.99. Hopefully she doesn't watch this and she won't see. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, might keep this one of these. No, this isn't at all electrical related, but do you know what? We try and teach general tips for life. And uh, if you haven't got a TK Maxx or a TJ Maxx, if you're in America, um, well then come over here and do some shopping because sometimes you get still. What did you get, Ruben? I got a fine pair of socks. Fine. And that's it. Yeah, they are very fine. JTB socks, pretty wicked. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. We're probably gonna have a little nap while we wait for the charger to arrive. So see you on the other side. So I am on Tradeify. I wish I could say that I could do some paperwork to kill time, but fortunately it's all been done because all the invoices and quotes and everything else literally just carries across the one platform. So that saves me doing a heck of a lot of paperwork, which is interesting because they are today's video sponsor. So shout out to Tradeify. Thank you very much for producing such a pretty top-notch app and um, I hope you're having fun in New Zealand. Please invite us to come visit you because we definitely will. So status update, well, we've just got it through the wall and it's literally just arrived half four and our charger has arrived. Yeah, not obviously ideal. So I'm just trying to absolutely power it on, not literally, power through the work and get it connected. Fortunately, I'm fairly quick at doing them now. Again, same problem, stuffing band is too small to actually fit a normal, correctly sized cable through. Even just the inner sheath doesn't fit through there. You need to get a wider 20mm stuffing band. But for some reason, Anderson do not seem to be listening when I say that that is an issue that they need to work on. Anderson man, or oh, woman, get on it. <laughs> Put some decent whisker stuffing bands inside these chargers and they'll be that bit easier to fit. don't come with like an ice cream cone. If the manufacturers were really listening to us, I have an ice cream cone holder. I think I'm gonna go buy that rabbit after work. It was beautiful, both of them. I'm not separating them, they're obviously brothers. That'd be cruel. That'd be like separating me and you. Can't do it. Right, 
that's us all finished. We got there in the end. It was a bit of a nightmare day. Usually days are a nightmare because we've got so much to do in so little time. Today was a nightmare because we had so much time and so little to do. Because we're in the middle of nowhere. If it was near Cambridge, we could have gone and like organized the unit and emptied out the van and sorted that stuff out. But we're literally like in the sticks. Like we just went and helped Jordan on that job. And now obviously we're back here. Um, finishing this up but either way we've got it finished it's still it's not a terrible time it's all commissioned tested customers happy with it i've set it up the app on his phone and it's another one knocked out so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you managed to learn something from it and today was a bit more of a vlog than a general how-to video but we've got more of those coming up we've got some interesting jobs coming up so I look forward to seeing you on the next one anyway thank you take care